James. Hey, Dave. How are you? Good. Great. Haven't seen you for ages. Yeah, I've been all over the place. Yeah, Asia? No, too far. Latvia. Latvia, really? What about Latvia? Latvia. It's a great place. You should check it out. Yeah, living the good life there? Uh, that too, as well as running my own microchip factory, yeah. using Latvian ports to ship my products to uh, Scandinavia, trading with Russia and, uh, yeah, Asia too. Wow. Wow. You wouldn't mind telling me a little bit more about that? <laughs> You see, the one thing that strikes me about Latvia is that, it, is that it's not only the largest trade hub of the Baltics, but it's basically a geographical hotspot. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Well, look, you've got Scandinavia on one side, Russia on another, Poland, Germany on another, and Latvia right in the middle of the action. So whenever I'm aiming overseas, I've got three international ice-free ports to choose from, and if I need Russia, I've got a direct rail link that goes straight from Latvia to Moscow. But the best thing is, it's just a two-hour flight away from all the Western capitals. Not bad. Not bad at all. So what'd you do, move your whole company there? Didn't need to. Well, who's running it then? They are, locals. Of course. Initially, I was a bit skeptical too. Then I realized they've got one of the highest university enrollment rates in the world. And almost everyone I meet speaks three languages, Latvian, Russian, and English. So, when I was hiring, I got heaps of applications, more than I could have asked for. Heaps of applications don't mean they have any skills. That may be true, but... You certainly need to know a thing or two about skills if you're the largest pharmaceuticals manufacturer in the Baltics. Or design systems for Kenwood, Panasonic, develop technologies for NASA, or make microphones for Lady Gaga. Sounds good. That sounds good. The corporate tax rate is 15%, one of the lowest in Europe. And it takes one day to launch a company. James, one day? One day? Right, but what's the catch? And don't tell me there isn't one. Do you enjoy nature? Sure, why not? Then you'll have to deal with this. Take it in. Doesn't get fresher than that. After all, it's one of the greenest countries in the world. Do you enjoy music, by the way? Yes, I do. Then you've got to go to the Opera House. It's phenomenal. And you're bound to bump into some of today's top performers, like I did last week, as it happens. And restaurants? Well, don't get me started. There's everything from local organic cuisine to my beloved English pub. And Riga, the capital city. Well, just take a look around you. It's a work of art. Hey, uh, tell me again, when did you come here? I'll tell you what, three years ago, and I have never looked back since. <laughs> 